Hey guys, Jen Causey here, your resident Cricut wedding expert. And while I'm not sharing a wedding specific project with you today, I am sharing how to work with scripty style fonts. So in this quick video, I'm going to share three of my favorite tips for bringing stock fonts to life, no matter if you're making a wedding project or a home decor project or iron on t-shirt, whatever you've got going. So to get started, we have three individual text boxes here using three different script style fonts. And what you'll notice a lot of times is when you um, add a text box and you use a script style font, the design space is going to give you some phantom spacing here. And it doesn't always do it, but sometimes it does. So most of the time when you're using a script style font, you want it to actually look scripty and you want it to look like cursive. So the first tip is how to work with letter spacing. So make sure you're clicked on the text box and then all you're going to do is come up here to letter spacing, click the down arrow, and continue to click it until you are happy with the spacing of the text. Um, let's see, I'm going to keep going here. Okay, that looks good. I think everything is connected. So I'm happy with the spacing now, but if I was to click go, uh, the Cricut would still actually cut out each individual letter as it was, which is now what we want. So the last step of this tip is to hit weld. Now that it's welded, you can see it's all fully one piece and we'll cut out a solid sticker, piece of paper, iron on, whatever you want. So that's it. Letter spacing, weld. Easy peasy. Okay, tip number two is my absolute favorite and so fun. Um, this works for a lot of different types of fonts, but it looks really cute with this Emmeline font. So what we're going to do is go up here to the advanced little button and hit ungroup to layers, ungroup to letters, excuse me, and now all the letters are separate. So what we're going to do is now we can just take these letters and make sure that they touch. I'm going to rotate the E a little bit um, so that it comes into the L a little bit nicer. And then I might rotate this L just a little bit. And then we've got the O. Maybe the O should go up here. Yep, kind of cute. Okay, now we're ready for the other word. Okay, and so you can see this is something I'll talk about as soon as we get to the welding step, but if the, if the tail of the D sticks into the um, solid, I guess, shape of the A, like this at all, this whole shape when, when you weld will turn black, so we have to just be conscious of that. So we're going to keep this uh, separate as much as we can, tilt this R. So you can see it kind of takes a little finagling, but that's fun. That's the fun part of fonts. Turn the eye a little bit. <clears throat> And there we go. So I think I'm happy with the spacing on all of this. So now what I'm going to do is drag my cursor around and click weld. Oh, perfect example. The tail of the N was sticking too far into the G. So now we just hit undo. And sometimes like you can't see it. You can like uh, zoom in if you want, but we're just going to move it back just a little bit. And then try again. There we go. Now this word is all one piece. It's totally custom. You're not going to get any spacing like that um, anywhere else. So that's great. So letter spacing. Uh, I mean, excuse me, line spacing, letter spacing. And now we're going to combine both. So I'm just going to uh, click this letter space down here until happy. Okay, so this is a perfect example of a font that you're going to need to use both of those tools with because I can continue to go down here, but then the R is off and it just doesn't work. 
So we're going to go back up to the point where the R looked good. Now I'm going to do ungroup to letters. Just move the I over, move the D over, move the E over. And then I think it looks perfect now, but I'm going to add just a tiny little heart um, on the end here. Teeny tiny little heart on the tip of the E just for fun. Okay. Um, drag, weld, and we're good to go. Actually, I think I welded both of those together, but we can hit undo. And now there's just this one, weld. There we go. Now the heart is all one piece. Everything's all one piece, and it's all going to cut like that no matter what you cut. So I do want to let you know that after you hit weld, all of your text tools disappear because now these shapes are thought of as images. And that's all I have for you today. I hope that these simple tools will allow you to get the most out of the fonts that you're working with. Okay, happy crafting!